welcome to my next Amigurumi workshop. Today I present you projects I made specially for design contest organized by Amigurumi Patterns Net. And as you probably remember, the last year I made a Lunario, I show you, a baby dragon from Freiluntia, and I have got uh, over 400 votes. Um, so thank you very much uh, for that. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, the theme of uh, the contest uh, this year is prehistoric times. So I had an idea to crochet Neanderthal uh, Rufus and uh, Raffia, the baby mammoth. I was so happy that I made it. I finished four days before closing the entries. So I sent three photos of Rufus and Rafia. You can see the photos now. Unfortunately, I've got mail that my project wasn't approved. Admin wrote that they showed my design to designer Ildiko and she noticed a strong resemblance to her mammoth. I was overwhelmed, really shocked, because this is my original design. I started working on it since I found out about the contest. They wrote me that the biggest resemblance seems to be in the eyes of a mammoth and suggested to change only the eyes of my mammoth and then re-enter into the contest. I could do this if I were so fixated on the contest, but why should I change the eyes seeing that they were 100% my idea? I didn't inspired by Ildiko project. My mammoth has that common eyes with the eyelashes I made. Uh, and I really like them. So uh, you can compare both uh, mammoths uh, if you want to. Find uh, um, the project uh, of Ildiko in the internet. Or you know the project, uh, I don't know. Uh, but uh, when I looked at Ildiko mammoth, uh, I saw that uh, unconsciously I used a similar brown uh, hairy yarn just because I had it in my stock. Um, uh, with this yarn I planned to do the bear from Masha for my son. And I used it uh, for the body. I also used a similar technique uh, for eyes. Uh, I wanted to make my baby girl mammoth a bit astonished and crazy cartoon looking uh, character. So uh, they wrote me, this is an unfortunate coincidence, uh, that it seemed that my project was my own creation, though the resemblance uh, remains. Uh, I'm a bit confused about this uh, whole situation. I had my vision of a mammoth and I went through it, uh, but as you can see, such resemblance uh, happens. Okay, so I will better tell you about my project. Uh, originally, I had the following idea to describe my characters. Rufus is an intelligent and brave Neanderthal man from the Pleistocene Epoch, the Ice Age. He rescued baby mammoth Raffia from the ice crack and from that time forward they are inseparable team. Even though mammoth accompanies him every single day, Rufus feels lonely, so he wins through prehistoric lands looking for beloved woman who would like to start her life together. Rafia supports him and is devoted to him. Rufus is also sensitive, thoughtful and has artistic soul. He often goes into his man cave up the hill of bones to have a thing and in his spare time he indulges his passion, painting on the stones. He invented specialized painting tools two-sided tool for breaking stones and mixing paint powder, bone, a kind of pestle for grinding the lumps of minerals for painting, brush made from stick and mammoth hair. Rafia gave him a strand of hair from her tail and he gave her a beautiful purple rouge flower in return. Rufus wears a waistcloth decorated with leather, fur vest, hat, leather shoes and a necklace made from little bones. He keeps mineral-based pigment, red ochre, in the leaf-made pouch attached to the belt. 
He is also provided with a spear just in case against wild creatures he fights within his path. Rufus follows a nomadic existence, but he would like to settle down and raise a family. So keep our fingers crossed for him. Okay, that's the end of the uh, description. Um, final size of uh, Rufus is uh, 28 centimeters uh, tall and the raffia, the baby mammoth, is uh, 25 centimeters tall and 50 centimeters uh, long, so uh, she's a really, really um, big mammoth. Now I'll show you my first sketches. Um, they are quite funny. I wanted to draw uh, firstly before I'll start uh, making my um, prehistoric creatures. Firstly, look at Rufus, the Neanderthal artist. I used Yarn Art Jeans beige color, about uh, two skins for uh, the body skin color uh, and a crochet hook 2 mm. Neanderthal is based on wire frame. Wire is inside the body, legs, arms and fingers. Each toe has a different size and each finger has a wire frame inside. Okay, you see. Uh, I wrapped the wire with electrical tape uh, to secure it. I also embroidered nails with dark beige color. And I started from crocheting feet with toes, then legs. Uh, I joined two legs into the body in one piece. Then I made hands with fingers and arms. I crocheted head, needle skirted eye sockets. I glued the eyes, these half bits, to the piece of white felt and glued everything to the eye socket. And I used for these bits, I used the safety eyes which I sewed. I sewed the ends of that safety eyes and I get two half beads. I crocheted eyelids and crocheted ears and sewed them to the head. I embroidered mouth. I also needle sculpted a navel and a bottom. And finally I attached hair and bird using black felting wool. I also made uh, this braid so he looks like prehistoric Jedi. So the Neanderthal was ready, he flexed his muscles in search of a woman and he needed clothing. Each part of prehistoric clothing and accessories was carefully planned and thought. Look at my drawings. And finally, I adjusted my idea. So the Neanderthal wears waist cloth. I choose uh, the yarn Angora Ram. I crocheted in rows and worked double loop stitches in some random even rows. So you see the loops here. I wanted to achieve a different texture. I wanted also to combine yarn and pieces of fur and leather. And so I sewed some pieces of these materials. After I bind these two ends, I used, as you can see, a string because it was a rectangle. Neanderthal also has a hat. 
I made hat uh, with this uh, yarn as for waist cloth and uh, but I sewed a piece of uh, a fur and a leather um, he also has uh, a fur vest I also sewed it from a um, piece of uh, fur I have uh, Rufus uh, has a leather shoes with a fur and a necklace made from from uh, this is uh, our um, piece of bones and I made it from a polymer clay in three colors gray white and beige I show you unused unused parts of necklace I baked it, baked it in the oven. Um, as accessories I made for my Neanderthal, the painter, um, I made brush, we have a brush. Brush is made from stick and mammoth hair. As a mammoth hair I used the yarn art Samba brown color. And we have also two-sided tool for breaking stones and mixing paint powder um, bone I crocheted bone a kind of pestle for grinding the lumps of minerals and also spear just in case against the wild creatures creatures. I made it from a stone and string and Rufus also has a um, pouch made from um, a piece of uh, green material and this uh, is a, a leaf uh, attached to the belt containing mineral-based pigment red ochre and Look at uh, stones with uh, drawings. He did uh, this uh, prehistoric drawings. So look once again at uh, Rufus uh, brush and stone. And I will talk about Raffia in a minute. The most of my time I devoted to Raffia, the baby mammoth. Uh, in the whole project I used yarn art jeans number 71 uh, coffee shade about two or three skins I don't quite remember sorry for that um, yarn art samba brown color 2034 about uh, three skins uh, for body legs and mane and uh, white yarn art jeans for tasks and dark beige yarn art jeans for nails. As for flower, I also used yarn art jeans, purple and pink color. For this project, I used the crochet hook 2.5 millimeters because of using yarn art samba. So I choose a, a bigger hook than for Neanderthal. And I started from trunk. I used the Yarnard jeans, the coffee shade, working through 74 rounds. After crocheting 74th round of trunk, I left it for a moment and started crocheting tasks uh, using Yarnard jeans, white color. I've put the wire into the tasks and continue crocheting tasks around the wire. In 75th round I changed color to number 71 coffee shade and start crocheting tube for these tasks. Then I joined the tasks with the trunk hooking through the stitches of tasks and trunk. I crocheted mouth separately and then I continue crocheting 
uh, head joining the mouth, uh, hooking through the stitches of mouth and head. So the head is without uh, sewing at all. And when I reached a uh, hundred and eighth round, I cut yarn and changed to um, yarn art samba brown. A stitch marker goes through the belly. Uh, I made shift stitches where they were needed to stride the marker under the belly. Um, I crocheted mane separately. I used the double loop stitches for the mane. I sewed the mane. Then I crocheted eyes, added safety eyes and crocheted eyelids around the eyes. And then I made this eyelashes. I glued the false eyelashes to the piece of black felt and glued everything to the eyelids. After that I started crocheting legs. Uh, for legs I used two pieces of wire, each about 80 centimeters long, uh, one piece uh, for front legs and one piece for back legs. I bent the wire in half, in half and inserted through the stitches of the body from this side for example and then uh, sticking out from that side so I have this one wire in for front legs. Uh, the center point of bending is uh, inside the body. I recommend you to use the wire 3 mm in diameter because the body is quite heavy. Uh, I combined two wires. I had uh, 2 mm in diameter and because I didn't have thicker wire. You have to adjust if you want to. Uh, I shaped the wire to make fit and wrapped electrical a tape around it. It was time for crocheting legs, uh, so I crocheted back legs and front legs. Um, I put plastic insert at the bottom of uh, each leg to flatten the feet. And then I put wires sticking from the body into the legs and filled with stuffing and pin the legs uh, before uh, sewing. It's better to pin the, all the legs uh, to see if they are placed uh, properly. I checked if placement for legs is okay and sewed them. Mm, then I crocheted ears. And 12 nails. Three nails for each leg. And for nails I used the dark beige yarn at jeans as I told you. Uh, almost the last thing was a tail. I made a tail from uh, two yarns because I wanted to uh, get this uh, brush at tip part. I put the wire inside the tail so you can bend it as you like and sew the a tail to the body. And uh, finally I crocheted purple rouge flower. Uh, edging was fixed by crocheting around the wire. So this flower keeps nice shape. Look at this flower. I'll show you because I put it just uh, uh, through the stitches of of head and I can show you. This is the back side of flower. I wrapped uh, the ends uh, um, of this thin wire with electrical tape. Okay, so I can put it um, once again. And finally I tinted uh, uh, the trunk. I used fabric pastels and a rouge for cheeks. 
As for Rufus, I tinted a bit of cheeks, uh, used the crayons that I, uh, were rubbed on the sandpaper and I, I put it with uh, a brush. So here's a chest, legs a bit. Mm, to sum up, uh, it was a really, really time-consuming project. Mm, I'm going to release a pattern for Rufus and Rafia, mm, but I need more time to uh, write it down. Mm, this is a detailed pattern. Uh, it's spread within lots of pages in my crochet notebook. Um, I have also long overdue pattern for the Lunario baby dragon. Um, I'm going to catch up with the patterns in the next uh, year, I hope. Um, coming back for the design contest, it's a pity I couldn't show the whole project I made especially for the contest. Um, I asked Amigurumi Patterns admins uh, if I could submit only my Neanderthal, because I've been working uh, very hard. Uh, they agreed, so I submitted three photos of Rufus. Uh, you can see the photos. And the link uh, is in the video description. If you like him, you can vote for him. Thank you very much for all uh, votes. Mm, okay, so that's it. Uh, you can leave a comment if you want. Tell me what you think of my project. Uh, subscribe channel, blog, visit Facebook page. Um, making tutorials on YouTube and writing down patterns uh, take lots of time. It's quite uh, hard work, um, so I would be grateful for a thumbs up. It helps to make my videos visible through all of the videos on YouTube. Look at her and look at him. This is really, really inseparable team. Thank you very much. Bye!